Hey guys, Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what I think is the most important setting to have good aim. Now, the setting I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be your aim response curve, and this is how you get to it. You're going to go to your controller settings, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to have three options. I use linear and I'm going to make the argument for using either linear or dynamic, but most people will have it defaulted to standard and this is not a good thing. When you change this setting, it will literally change the way the game reads your right stick inputs. And this is why linear and dynamic are so much better than standard. Linear is a one to one input ratio. So if I move my thumbstick to the right with 40% power, that's how far it's gonna go. If I do the same thing to the left, that's how far it's gonna go. The standard response curve on the other hand, it is all dependent on how fast you're moving your joystick. The faster you move the joystick, the more you're gonna turn left or right. This same effect is applied in dynamic, but the difference is dynamic does not ramp up as quick, so that means you have more fine aiming control. And that's why I'd heavily recommend dynamic or linear over standard. And for me, I think linear is even better than dynamic. The reason I think this is simple. If you were to just simply think about the easiest way to build up muscle memory, which pretty much all of aiming is just muscle memory, then it's almost certainly gonna be using linear. The reason for this is because you will learn that if you apply X amount of pressure to your joystick, that is how far your joystick will move. So this allows you to build up muscle memory super quickly, but also allows you to build it up in the long run. As long as you're keeping your sensitivity consistent, as long as you're allowing yourself to learn the sensitivity and actually learn how to aim with it, you are gonna notice the results. Because when you're in a long range gunfight, you will learn that if someone's 100 meters away, you can perfectly track them by just putting a tiny bit of pressure on the joystick. However much that pressure is, is going to depend on your sensitivity, how far away they are, so many different things. But with linear, it is so much easier to build up the necessary muscle memory that will allow you to actually win those gunfights. When you look at the best players, a lot of them use dynamic, and I do think dynamic is a great option, and I'm not going to dissuade people from using it. However, your favorite streamers, they probably play six to eight hours a day and have been doing so for years at this point in time because they're full-time streamers and you don't have that luxury. So if you aren't playing all the time, it is a lot harder to build up muscle memory with something like dynamic or standard. And that's where linear is clutch. If you have limited time to play because you work like myself, I have a job, I coach high school football, I make these videos, and I just don't have the time to play eight to 10 hours a day like I used to be able to in high school. So for me, it really helps having something like linear because this allows me to build up that muscle memory that will literally carry over even into Warzone 2. It doesn't matter what Call of Duty I'm playing, I just have to adjust the sensitivity a little bit on the numbers game and linear will be my go-to option. It literally allows me to pick up almost any Call of Duty that has linear as an option to use and I can just find that perfect sense almost instantly because I have the muscle memory. I'm used to these different sensitivities, I know how to use them, yada, 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 and that's something that I don't think people value. Call of Duty, aiming, all of this, it's really a long-term game. I know people don't want to hear that. I know people want to get on, change their settings, and then they just want to start frying like their favorite streamer, YouTuber, or whatever. That's not how it works. What you have to do is you have to focus on improving bit by bit every time you hopped on, however much that is, and then over time, slowly, over the course of a couple of months, over a year, you will just get so much better, it will be hard to believe. Improvement is not something you can easily see in your day-to-day -day gameplay. However, it is something you can see when you watch your gameplay from four months back and now compare it to your gameplay now. Even myself, a year ago I had a 3.2 KD, now I have a 3.52 KD. My movement, my aim, everything is so much better now and it's not just me playing on pc compared to ps5 it's literally i am a better player my positioning is better my aiming is better as i said before my movement is better everything my game sense just gets better and better every time i play and i understand that warzone is a long-term thing 
The same thing with my YouTube, and I'm not even kidding. A year ago, I had like 200 subscribers. Now I have almost 1,300 subscribers. I'm monetized, I make money off of it, when almost my entire existence of YouTube, I wasn't even making money off of it. But as long as you're focused on the long-term goals, as long as you're focused on that long-term progression and doing whatever you can in that day, you will reach your long-term goals. I know that that little rant seems a little off topic, but I actually promise it does apply directly to your aim and it applies directly to linear and dynamic being better than standard. Both dynamic and linear will allow you to get better muscle memory and allow you to learn how to actually aim and build up that muscle memory that's so crucial. When the pressure is on, when you're in a gunfight, you don't have time to think about these things. You don't have time to sit there and think, oh, I'm over aiming to my left, so I need to aim less. No, you just have to aim. You just have to do it. It's the same thing with movement. If you want to have good aim while moving and having good movement, it just takes practice and learning that muscle memory. And that's why it's so heavily recommend changing your aim response curve and why I say it's so important because this will literally affect how you aim and how you just go about playing Warzone. It's not some exaggeration, it's not clickbait, that's reality. I'm gonna pretty much just start wrapping this video up, but I just wanna take this moment to say thank you guys. I kinda talked about it earlier, but I really am reflecting on how far I've come in the past year and a half of doing my YouTube and everything, and it's really owed all to you guys, and I just can't say thank you enough. I love talking about Warzone, I love making these videos, and I love interacting with you guys in my comment section, and I'm just so appreciative. I hope you guys enjoy this video, I hope you have a good day, and thank you once again for supporting the channel and just being a part of this. It's been Ryan, peace.